Are you considering a move to the Lake Tahoe area or potentially buying a residence in the Lake Tahoe area and want to know a little bit more about that lake and how beautiful it is and what to expect? Well, in today's video, we're going to go over an entire map tour to kind of show you and get you acquainted with this beautiful Lake Tahoe area. So stay tuned. What's up everyone? This is Rachel Capil with the Lake Tahoe Living Channel. If you want to know all about living in Lake Tahoe and potentially purchasing real estate or relocating, this is the channel for you. We have videos coming out each week, so make sure to subscribe down below. All of our information is down below as well if you want to reach out to us. There have been plenty of people doing that and we absolutely love it. So if you want to relocate here, we got you covered. Days, nights, and weekends, if you want to talk to us, just give us a call, text, DM, PM, email, whatever you feel comfortable. We got you covered when moving to Lake Tahoe. All right, so you're thinking about possibly relocating and buying a beautiful home in the Lake Tahoe area, but you don't quite understand what the lake's all about and just a little bit overwhelmed. Well, we're gonna get into this map tour of Lake Tahoe so you can find out all the things that you need to know and what to expect when living or relocating here. So let's get after it right now. All right, so let's talk about Lake Tahoe. This is a map of the lake here. Um, basically, how you're going to get to um, Lake Tahoe is if you're coming from the East Bay, you're going to basically come up this way and take 50 or 80. OK, so from Sacramento area, obviously, it's going to take um, just depends on traffic. If you're coming from San Jose, it's going to be a little further. We're in Pleasant Hill, um, Wanna Creek area, so it's takes us usually without any traffic when we go up to 80 to our place probably about three hours without like kind of leaving like 10 o'clock in the morning um now going to south lake i mean it's probably give or take around that it can be a lot more i feel like um i haven't gone to south lake a lot just because we have a place in incline we usually go there but whenever i would go to south lake here and you know taking this freeway it's just 50 i just feel like it's always trafficy, and it's got this little section where it's just kind of hard and it's kind of scary to drive but it's really not that bad. It's, I mean, I just feel like 50, um, I'm sorry, 80 is just a little bit easier. It's like less steep. I don't know. You have to kind of drive it out yourself and see, but anyways, 50 will take you into South Lake. And so let's kind of talk about, um, let's kind of talk about the lake itself. Actually, I'm going to go over here first and show you this awesome, it's visitinglaketahoe.com. These links will be um, in the description below. So you can kind of take a look. It's got some really great things that you can kind of click around to tell you about Lake Tahoe. So I highly recommend going here um, and just kind of just familiarizing yourself, you know, digging in, seeing what you, what else you can do because you know, our videos only go so far. Um, and I really loved this map kind of showing you the different areas and you have like a little, um, links here that you can click on that gives you more in-depth information about each area, which I think let's click on San Harbor, see what it does. It's, this is the most beautiful beach, um, in Northern, uh, Tahoe, Nevada area. So you can kind of see, you know, you can click it, it tells you the hours of operation, when you can go, you can watch videos. It's just a really cool website. So I definitely recommend going over here and checking it out. So uh, let's see here. This is the map of, of Tahoe. Um, I'm actually going to click on this map so I can kind of walk you through exactly, you know, the area and we'll kind of go from South Lake and work our way up around. So um, you can see it's divided here in, in two sections. There's the California side and the Nevada side. Now, Nevada, um, and there's north, obviously, and south. So when you come down here to South Lake, there's a lot of really cool places. South Lake is more like the kind of party happening, fun place. Like people really love to go to South Lake because you've got um, heavenly village that's right here and it's just amazing skiing it's just fantastic skiing and you've got a dividing line here so you can either stay in california and then gamble in tahoe or vice versa right but heavenly village if you go to this 
website that's going to be linked down below, you can click here and you can actually see like Heavenly Village is like this really cool place that people, you can stay there at the, the Marriott. There's all kinds of um, different restaurants and great, great things for kids. You can walk around and take pictures and enjoy beer, you know, down here, see the live music. That's why South Lake is kind of known to be a more fun happening place than Northern um, North Lake Tahoe on the Nevada side and California side. It's just a little bit more happening. There's way more places to eat and have fun. And you can, like I said, you can click on that link and see um, all the different shops and you could take the gondola right there. So it's just super, super convenient. So I definitely recommend going to that link. It'll be in um, the description below and you can click on every single section here of um, Lake Tahoe to learn more. Okay. So let's just go back to my little map and kind of talk about the areas. So like I said, here's state line, you know, you've got, um, this is the whole kind of party section here, like area to go eat. You can have Whole Foods, you know, Safeway's all here and all the shops are down here. You can ski at Heavenly. Um, this is, I believe, the Tahoe Keys. Yeah, so a lot of people like park their boats here and you can have access to the beach. There's, you know, places to stay. Lots of like little um, apartments that you can rent and stay at um, VRBO or potentially even buy if you're interested in that. Just reach out to us. And as you come up here on 89, this is a beautiful. Emerald Bay is just like absolutely stunning. So you definitely want to come here. Obviously, it's a little kind of scary driving. You can see that little zigzag. So any kind of time where it's uh, tough weather, wet or snowy, you just always have to be really mindful and careful. But it's really pretty over here. Lots of like points where you can take pictures of the bay. So I highly recommend checking that out at some point. And if as you kind of travel up, um, you know, 89 here, you'll hit all the different little towns, Meeks Bay, Tahoma, Homewood. There's some good camping here, too. Um and up here and like, obviously there's lots of wildlife. So just be mindful of that. And you've got Homewood ski, uh, resort there. You've also got Alpine Meadows up here. Um, this was formerly Squaw Valley. I believe it's Palisades now, if I'm correct. Exactly. So you just kind of come up here, Tahoe city. A lot of people hang here and, um, you know, sunny side, it's just super fun. Lots of camping, you know, recreation areas, beautiful lakefront properties all along here. And this is the California side. So like I said, it's going to be a little bit more affordable versus um, like incline area. But you can see there's lots of ski resorts to go to. And as you kind of head up 89, um, you'll hit, you know, Carnelian, Dollar Point, Ridgewood, Carnelian Bay, and then head into Kings Beach and, and Crystal Bay. People don't normally kind of some some do maybe they like will come up 50 and then hit to home stay in homewood or whatever but if you're kind of going to come up 80 to go to like i guess the incline or trucky area you're going to take um you kind of have to decide if you're going to go 50 or 80 but you can go up this way but oftentimes people will take 80 and then come down this way so um when you go through 80 you're going to hit um Let's see, Donner Lake. There you go. So you'll hit Donner, you'll pass Donner, and this is all still on the California side. And Donner Lake is another community that people often um, purchase properties at because there's a lake. It's like a master plan community. It's really nice. It's like a membership type place like Incline Village. And then you, you'll head into Truckee. And to go to Incline and Kings Beach and Carnelian Bay, you're going to pass North Star here. So North Star is another major, major resort, which is like amazing, right? Just like, you know, um, Palisades and all these bigger ones like Heavenly. So those are the main ski resorts here. So you'll go down 267, pretty easy drive. And then it'll drop you into Kings Beach, which is another awesome area, um, to hang out at a beach, um, little town, really cute. Carnelian Bay, same thing. Garwood is over here. Um, and it's a rock kind of beach. So there's dogs allowed here. So that's something to note if you have dogs. Um, I think you can bring them to Kings Beach too. I can't remember the rules there, but I know you cannot bring them to Incline yet. There's a separate dog beach for Incline. So as you head up here again, lots of beautiful homes, you know, and some smaller tucked away homes in the um, trees here, not too far away. Crystal Bay is a really pretty like kind of lookout point. You kind of drive up north and then you'll be at the top here and be able to see a really great 
great view of the lake. Oftentimes people will go to Kings Beach and then they'll just take a jet ski. That's like one of my first trips ever coming to this area. We just took a jet ski around the corner and enjoyed the the whole lake over here. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. So once you kind of cross this line, the Nevada um, line, you're going to end up um, from Crystal Bay, you're going to head into Incline. And Incline, I absolutely think it's just, I mean, it's, I personally think it's the best place to be. Uh, just depends on what you want out of life and what you're, where you are in your life. Um, you know, it's very kid or family oriented. You've got Diamond Peak Ski Resort here. Mount Rose is over here. So the um, I've talked in this in, in previous videos about uh, Diamond Peak. We actually just finally recently went. Um, and as uh, residents of Incline, we get tickets for literally $25 because we have an IFGID card. And so we can ski Diamond Peak, which is like five minutes from our place for $25 versus if you're over here at North Star, you're going to pay almost $200, you know, per, per ticket. Same thing with like, um, Palisades, like it's just really expensive. So if you're an actual resident of Incline Village, you're able to basically get a ticket for $25 kids ski for ski or snowboard for 20 bucks. And you get like rentals, um, for a discount. So in my opinion, I mean, I might not ever go anywhere else <laughs> because I just want to get up there and do my runs and leave you know, like, and get the kids going and get their, you know, cut their teeth on this mountain so they can, you know, eventually ski the world. That would be, well, snowboard in their case, the world, which would be the eventual scenario. But yes, yeah, so being an incline, you are about 40 minutes or so from um, Reno, which is going to be, and then Mount Rose is right here. Um, Reno is going to be the next area that you would have, or Carson City, um, big flagship stores. So, um, it, you know, Mount Rose is on the way to, um, Reno. So this is another major mountain, like, um, you know, North star over here and Palisades. So it's, you're not going to get those discounts at, at, uh, Mount Rose. There's also a little place you can sled on the way to Mount Rose. Um, it's free. It's just off the freeway. It's really awesome too. And you can like, uh, snowshoe and snow mobile over there as well. So like, like I've mentioned before, um, Incline has beautiful lakefront property. I mean, it's like Zephyr Cove. You're going to pay top, top dollar, multi, multi, multi millions to have um, a home here on the water, but it's just unbelievable. So, and every year I've heard for, uh, 4th of July is like just amazing and you can't beat it. So I've heard that there is a 4th of July fireworks show. And then there's, I guess, a rich guy <laughs> somewhere over here that does fireworks. That's almost just as good. And then King beach, Kings beach has a fireworks show as well. So very, very, very during that time of year, um, at the lake. So as you kind of come past incline, you're going to hit sand Harbor, which is a state owned park, which is gorgeous. I told you, I, you know, you can go here and click on sand Ann Harbor. It's just, um, right here. It's just absolutely stunning, beautiful, beautiful beach. Um, and then you kind of come down this way. This is all the Nevada side. Um, looks like there's a secret cove nude beach. I've never been there, but something to <laughs> be aware of if you want to do that. And you just come down here. It's a little bit quieter over here, obviously. And again, some beautiful, beautiful lakefront properties. Zephyr Cove is like a really, really popular and beautiful area to buy. Um, and then you just kind of come back down uh, into South Lake and um, you've got all the partying and action over here. You know, I would definitely check it out. And just know that the more activity will be down in South Lake. And then if you're in North Lake, you're going to have to go to like um, Carson City or Reno to get um, Reno up here to get like your Costco, Target, um, those types of flagship stores to get whatever you may need. So that is an overview of Lake Tahoe. I um, definitely reach out to us if you have more questions and I highly recommend going to visiting laketahoe.com to kind of show you exactly the differences between North and South, you know, what, what's going on. The current webcam show you what the weather's like, um, all kinds of great, great links here to teach you about the lake um, from you know, if we can't do all the videos on them, but if you want to kind of study up more, um, it'll give you a lot of information. So there you have it. All you need to know about Lake Tahoe.
All right, so there you have it. That wraps up our map tour of Lake Tahoe. Everything that you need to know, we've got it all here. We've got skiing, biking, hiking, boating, and loving that sunny, beautiful weather in Lake Tahoe. It's absolutely gorgeous here. And the only thing that's missing is you and your beautiful new home. So reach out to us, let us know if you have questions. We are happy to help days, nights, and weekends. We got you covered when relocating to Lake Tahoe. Email and information is all down below. Make sure to subscribe, click the like buttons, and until next time, guys, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.